three million subs. Thank you guys so much. Oh my God. <laughs> well, me and Joe did a celebration thing. We did it on Twitch. I accidentally deleted the video. So instead, I'm going to celebrate with you guys uh, by giving you an angry review right now today. We, I didn't know if I was gonna do this one. So it's kind of a bonus angry review. Uh, it worked really hard over the past few days. Uh, to get this one done so it's our raw angry opinions on battlefield 5 when it came out uh, some of the, the issues might be patched by now but remember we got to review these things at release uh, so i hope you guys enjoy the new video thank you for supporting our show so much we both all everybody here thanks you and uh, keep supporting our show hit the like button subscribe do whatever you want to do there's new merch in the link below so Thank you guys so much, and yeah, we hope you enjoy the review, and there's going to be many more coming, okay? Uh, check it out, okay? <laughs> no more happy stuff. Angry face. Angry. Because this is not a happy review. This is an angry review. Seriously, thank you, guys. Angry. EA. No. Battlefield. What happened? What's going on? Enjoy the review, guys. Nobody cares about Battlefield. I said it. I And it breaks my heart to say this. Nobody cares about Battlefield, including DICE, including EA, and including the player base. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I nobody I know is really playing it still. It, I don't hear anybody talking about it. It's I, out, and it has like three, 2,000 viewers on Twitch. Like, nobody's watching or playing it. It anymore. takes us three minutes to get into games. Sales are super low. Yep. Sales are oh, something yeah. like 50%, 80% down or something from Battlefield 1. Yep. And it just, I don't know. It, what the hell happened? Feels like it didn't go anywhere. Let's, what, what, and we've played it. And what sucks is I'm already sick of the maps, Joe. How did that happen so quick? Because they removed everything. They're taking out less content. We got tired of it so full quick. Price. I was like, yeah. what the fuck? Isn't it weird that the two worst maps, well, I don't know if the, the one of them is worse. The Fjord or something, or no, yeah. not not that one. Uh, Navi Nar Narvik. Or Narvik. Narvik. Yeah. I, I, I'm tired of playing on it. So you release eight maps, but really it only feels like six maps. And really it only feels like three fucking maps because the maps don't go in fucking rotation no, enough. And, you know, the all, serv all servers are set to all do all map rotations, but somehow you barely even can play on the Fix ones that you want to play. Yep. Fix your goddamn shuffle. The fucking filter settings are fucking broken. Why is Battlefield like this? Why does it feel like there's so little content? There's... Look, guys, game... Whole parts of this game are completely fucking missing! I'm going into an angry rant. Yep. There's four fucking stories, and one of them isn't even available. At release, you're saying one-fourth of your story, 25% of your game, is not playable yet. What happened in the development cycle? Not only that, there's no practice range. They there's no tides of war. That is outrageous. How do you there's not fucking have practice fucking practice range? <laughs> Coming soon. coming soon. Coming soon. It's all coming soon. By and that time, nobody fucking cares, like you said. <laughs> nobody cares. And then Tides of War, this supposed to be brand new, you know, live service with really exciting things, isn't even in the game at release. So nobody fucking cares. Nobody's playing the game. Presumably, hopefully, they'll come back for that, but I doubt it. They, they even left out things like vehicle paint jobs and stuff. They were like, that's coming soon. You don't get that yet. You cannot customize your tanks at no. launch, even though there's a button to customize. Instead, it says coming soon. 
what the fuck happened, DICE? What happened, EA? What happened to our battlefield? And this is all completely besides the, the, the whole social justice yep. and women thing. None of that even fucking matters matter, in no. the game. All that amounts to is in the menu, you're all like... It's a like a skinheaded chick uh, in in German uniform, and so you look at it for half a second like that looks weird. But it doesn't matter because you f switch back to the male character. The only thing is on the battlefield every once in a while you're here. <laughs> But you hear that from guys like the hala I think even more <laughs> hilarious than the female screams are the male German screams. When they panic, <laughs> yeah. The <mis> <laughs> 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 You got the screams right. Like, 10 out of 10. Like when you get wounded and you go down on the ground and your guys just sitting there going, ah! <laughs> What happened to Battlefield? So you, you, you're playing on eight maps, six maps, more like three maps. And, you know, three. I really like, Ro uh, what is it, Rotterdam? Rotterdam uh, the, cool. the the airfield one. And Aerodrome. Aerodome. I'm sorry, not Rotterdam. Aerodrome. Aerodrome. Whatever, yeah. I don't like Rotterdam. That's the one that I'm like. The nah, city. I'm yeah. That was in the beta. Of, yeah. Tired of that one. Uh, and you never fucking get the airfield one. Grand operations. Uh, operations, which was a, a standout moment in Battlefield One, is somehow worse. Yep. It's not as cool as operations in Battlefield no. One. How did it get worse? You play the first one, then you play the second one, and then you still play the third one, even though, uh, let's say the enemy team wins the first two. You still play the third for no fucking reason. Yep. It doesn't feel like an operation. It just feels like a strung together few different maps and, yeah. and modes. It's not what it used to be. And I wanted an evolution of it, and somehow they went backwards. And you don't play Last Stand. I haven't Shoot played me. Last Stand. I've probably I put 40 no. hours into this game. Probably more. More put, than me. Yeah. And and I cannot. I have not played Last Stand. You have to. They have to win. Then you have to win. Then you have to somehow tie in the third one. I don't know. The numbers have to be incredibly low. It has to be like 5% or something. And if even that. I have not played Last Stand. And supposedly, it's really fucking good, guys. Just wait. It's coming soon. <laughs> Just it's coming soon. No, it actually is coming soon. <laughs> I think they're separating that mode. It's coming and soon. And All maybe right. Coming soon. But I don't know. Like maybe the grand operations feel different because in Battlefield One, it felt like you like when you failed the first day of attacking, you regrouped and you sent a stronger attack wave to attack the same objective. Like it was like a wave of guys. Yeah. But in this one, it's like everybody's just running around, like instantly killing each other. You spawn dead, spawn dead, spawn dead. Yeah, the they, ticket, the matches end in like ten minutes sometimes, and you're like, that was the battle. It's asymmetric, and sometimes asymmetric gameplay can feel bad. Like yeah. when you're in air dropping, the new thing is you can air drop. Well, on that map, the Aerotrome map, where you get to it by the third map. Yeah. But the first map is terrible because the planes spawn in immediate. They blow up. Ten of us fucking die in, in the half first a few second. seconds. Fail out. Oh, we all died. What the fuck? Every one of us died. That guy got ten kills off of that. Look at his kill death. Hit tab. He killed ten people. How? With one flak barrage. We all jumped out at the same time, and his flak hit us perfectly. It instant killed everyone. Yeah, that's some hardcore fucking shit, man. Like I would, I would be like, yeah, <laughs> but it feels it's like because you don't jump one at a time in, in this game. It Holy spawns shit. everyone simultaneously in the doorway. Fuck that. The map, the second part of that, where they can bomb our spawn three seconds yeah. after the game starts. That's Later cool, on, man. Pal. Oh, there goes our tanks immediately. They just blew up all our tanks the moment we spawn. What the f kind of game is that? Why would that be allowed? Because, but not because the fucking dice doesn't know what they're doing. What the f happened? They're able to bomb our spawn the minute the game starts. That is that because we lost the first round? And if not, no, then I think it's fuck just, that. It's just horrible spawning. Yeah. Well, we lost two of our tanks in the first two seconds the round started before yeah, no we could even shit. Like, stuff like that just ruins and shortens the game because it's like, oh, all your tanks are gone. You lost 
15 guys oh, are. Oh, when you get aerial fu- bomb, when you get fucking bombarded. Two seconds yeah. into the right match. Right there. Like, there's no fucking semblance of of map design here. Yep. It, it there No, there has to be because it feels like there's several map designers because I really like the, that open one with the fields and shit. Yeah, I know what I forget what about. that one was called. I love that one and that one almost saves the game but you can't have one or two maps with the that bridge? you like in there's the game. Twisted, the bridge. Twisted, yeah, twisted, steel, twisted Steel and then there's another one uh, that you're, you're going back and forth in the city. With the uh, flower fields with and the everything. With the flower yeah. fields. Those two are really fucking cool. And I should have looked up those names, guys. But you know what? If EA could barely fucking care about Battlefield at this point, I barely fucking care about reviewing this shit. Because it's just... Me and Joe had an amazing amount of fun on that aerodrome yeah. map. Like, it felt like a real fucking war. The buildings were getting shattered. We were fucking under assault because it was like one point. We had to hold... We only had one point and everybody was coming in on us. And it was amazing. Holy f- this is fucking intense. Fucking sweet. Oh shit, we can't fucking lose it. No! No, get on A. Get on A with everything we got. I can't. Alright, fuck. I'm thinking 30 minutes is okay, but 40 minutes, give me a fucking break. My See and they're already, already on us. <laughs> they're fucking charging my ass. Ah. Damn, there's about to spot on me. <laughs> God damn. Oh, I shouldn't have fucking done that then. It's so intense. What? Ha, ah, bitch. I sneak up on that. Oh, fuck. That was some of the most intense gameplay. It felt like an actual battle war. <laughs> Shit was crazy. By far better than Fallout. Oh my god. <laughs> Leagues better than Fallout 76. I'm a slap bell if you said something otherwise. But outside of that, we really have had an average time with the game. Even below average at times, like yeah. where we're going into games and it's putting us in empty games all the time. And, and hey, uh, hey, Joe, hold, Joe, hold tab. Huh? Which one? Oh God damn it! What the fuck is wrong with conquest servers? This, this is what I'm saying. Conquest servers are always fucking full. Empty games in the conquest. The it's like they, it's, it's like, like almost. Two, three minutes. Right. And, and Conquest, like, you want to play Conquest. It's one of their better modes. But I, all the servers they have for Conquest are full on PC. And so you're constantly, you, you can't search them because they're, they're, they don't show up in the filter list. Now, if Conquest was right here, we'd be able to hit this button and list those Conquest servers. But we can't. We have to come over here and go into <laughs> a generic fucking queue. And I don't want to play on two of the eight maps. Only like six maps in this game. I mean, no. I mean, I've done all of the, uh, all of your suggestions. We could go all, okay, and you still don't get it. You see that? Okay. Just, just for the guy that said, make sure you're going to free slots all. Okay. That, that was for you. Got it? Got it. It just feels like, I don't know, they should have delayed it further. Yeah. Maybe they delayed it a month because they were like, oh, God, I want to know what wasn't in this the game. This game feels different. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Dale, because yeah. I'm half going on an angry rant no, here go for because it. this game felt different in alpha. Mm -hmm. It felt slightly different in beta. That What ruins it the most for me is I've had more fun in Call of Duty than I've had in this year's Battlefield, which makes no fucking sense. Yeah. I am a Battlefield fanboy. And I do not have fun. Like, I want to have fun. I have to convince myself I'm having fun. I have to twist everybody's arm to play it with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. And he's like, Dell, come on. Dell, you <laughs> pissing me off because you're not playing it right because he's fing <laughs> lost it. He's like, what? I'm just doing it. I'm in a tank the whole <laughs> time. Squads have been reduced to four. Here's what really kills it for me the time to kill. Holding objectives. We got somebody coming up on you. At C. See, man, I got I got him in my sights. 
I'm firing and he out kills me. This is fucking bullshit. I I fired first, had him in my sights, and I guess his bullets just do way more damage. And hey, now the time to kill in this battlefield is so fucking short. It's it's crazy that Call of Duty is a lot. Yeah, it's bullshit. <laughs> Good. And I can't tell if it's supposed to be that way or if I'm just going up against really powerful guns or something. I don't know. I think they reduced it because in the alpha, it was people were saying it took too long, and I think they reduced the time to kill. There's something going on in this game where it will be at server side or network. audio feedback or, or visual feedback or network or they've just reduced the time to kill where it doesn't feel like battlefield it feels more like call of duty the way call of duty yeah. used to be pop pop and i'm f***ing dead there's no semblance of strategy it, it and and it's only certain modes where you can get that 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 strategy feel because you have to try different things and conquest and breakthrough and stuff like that but you you go and play some of the shit like team deathmatch and front lines and demand domination and things like that you're yep. like well, this is call of duty yep. yeah like what the fuck you is kill going everybody on? in like one or two bullets uh except for like with the lmgs um and then like you feel like you die from the assault classes like that like yeah. you're just dead and and there's another thing, class balancing. What the hell? It's totally medics are shit. Cute. Yep. Like why does assault get like three different types of guns? No, it's support that gets three different yep. types of guns. They get the shotguns, they get the light machine guns and the heavy machine guns. But the light machine guns and the heavies and have the same the, damage. The and like yep. uh, semi-auto rifles and the rifles go to assault yep. or the DMRs and and then what do medics get? SMG. One gun! Yep. SMGs! Yep. Which aren't even the best at close combat when you got guys running around with shotguns one shotting you in the face yep. and, and medics are shit. Why? Because this new squad mechanic, which I actually like, that your whole squad can revive each other. Yep. I like that. But yep. what does that do to medics? It makes them pointless. Yeah, you can revive a little faster. It's like a little bit faster, but that's it. But in the heat of combat, yeah. does that really f***ing matter? No, because no, really. you're going to be reviving people when it's safe to revive people. Exactly. I can't believe this sh They They did it backwards. Like, they're going backwards on yep. the game design. In Battlefield in 4, way. for example, you could equip, like, every sort of type of gun on every class. Like, you could wear carbines. You could have semi-autos. You could have uh, SMGs. You could have everything on, like, as a medic if you wanted to use they that stuff. They need to give medic shotguns they need or to give DMRs them, they need or to something. Give, everything needs to be used across all classes. Yeah, this one just feels so restricted. Yeah. yeah. And, and medics have uh, smoke grenades, which are great. Smoke is awesome in this game because yep. you can't fucking see shit. Which, by the way, that's a completely I mean, separate point. You couldn't point. even see I can't the see shit <laughs> half of the time in this fucking game. Do you see what I'm saying, Dale? Uh, it's too bright outside? Or is yeah. it just me? It might just be the window. Shoot the window. No, it's too bright. No, that's just bright. really bright. That's just do you washed see out on my, Do you see on my screen? Yeah, Does that it look side like that of the screen is just washed out. Yeah, it's super washed out. So you, bright. When you look down your sights, it's so yeah, it bright in the game, and I don't know what they've done. This game is absolutely beautiful, but they f***ed up with the lighting. Yeah. So I absolutely must tell you, you must turn off high dynamic range lighting. It's like yep. HDR something. Yep. It's hidden in the advanced tab. It's something that you must do by default to get a good experience from yep. this game, and it makes no sense. I mean, look at this f***ing lighting, lighting. Like, what the f***? Nothing looks like that. Yeah, it's like we were we were fighting on a road, and we look out onto the road, and it's like we can't see. It's completely <laughs> blinding. Joe's like, Dell, look at this. And I'm like, look at what? He's like, can you see anything? I'm like, no, it's just light. Yeah. It's just light coming in. Like and it's worse when you yep. zoom in, which makes no sense. It no. should be the same fucking light whether yep. I'm looking down or not looking down. It, it's just, it's crazy. And I don't know how that got put into the game. There are missing elements in the game. There are poor design decisions. Why did we go down on squads? Why are squads slowly being whittled away? You remember in old Battlefield, it was like six. It was six, yeah. It was six. You yep. felt like a fucking platoon, yep. a little mini team, and doing your stuff. And then it was five, which you're like, oh, okay. And yeah, now it was, it's it was, four. It was like 48 versus now 48. Now it's four, but we're struggling yeah. to get three people yeah, to play with you, us. <laughs> but then uh, you, you can't even get your friends to play it anymore. What the hell happened to Battlefield 5?
And that's not even talking about like how bad the progression has gotten now with uh, you feel like yeah. you're getting fuck all for playing the game now. You use a gun in game and you earn nothing for like money or upgrades for the gun other than like leveling it and having to go out into the main menu and spend another currency to buy progression for the gun. You don't just I get it. I hate this. You don't just get it for killing people, yeah. which is why that it's makes the first no sense. Game. You earn fucking credits. It's Battlefront. It you're is. doing the same thing, and pr I, I think that this economy is f***ed too yeah. because you're earning credit so f***ing slowly they didn't learn anything from Battlefront 2 other than oh crap our stock price is taking a hit let's pull out progression honestly this actually feels like it was like made the same way 100%. and then last yeah. minute they had to rip all that shit out the microtransactions of progression it. like oh yeah. shit <laughs> Right. That's what it feels like it, completely. Because you don't have enough credit. You don't earn credits at a good enough rate to where you feel confident so that you could buy all those different pants and different fucking gun yeah. customizations and shit like that and still can afford all the different gun unlocks that actually affect the way the gun works. You don't want to spend it on customization. No, so everybody runs around looking the same, even though you have this great customization feature, which there are some cool customizations in there. Yep. But so they even managed to f*** that up, yep. you know, you I get the coolest stuff I've ever seen. I got the Predator fucking. What? Game. Whoa. No way. Yes, Whoa. guys. I Got I thought I was the only one. Wait, I, I got that really? too. Really? I thought I only got, I got that You too. got Predator? I got, yeah. 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 We, we, and then we you got Predator? Got predator? Exclusive, got predator. son. It was exclusive. Holy fuck, guys. These guys got the Predator skin right at the beginning. Dude, you guys are fucking lucky. Everybody gets a fucking Predator skin. The green fucking guns. Ro running around with green fucking guns. It is stupid it's ridiculous the progression is poorly implemented the economy is poorly implemented the f squads are slightly improved but then taken back in certain ways yep. Yep. and you, or limited. the classes i mean classes limited it's and like some some cosmetics are like 2000 points and it's like to fully upgrade a gun is like 1200 why would i waste like 6 hours of playing on blue pants <laughs> the best thing i can say for the game is that it's not as small and tiny as I thought it was in the beta. It felt small and tiny. Yep. There are more open maps. There are tank battles, mm -hmm. but it's feel it still feels a far cry from what Battlefield used to be. And oh yeah. Th this is, blows me away. I, I I guess guys, I just wanted a, re a remaster. I wanted World War II with today's technology looking like Battlefront in yep. the sense that the g amazing graphics. Instead, we got the reverse. It looks like Battlefront in the worst ways in the UI yeah. who the fuck puts white text on and without even a black border or any kind of help to read these things on white maps and white backgrounds yep. and bright backgrounds in the fucking story half mode of, half of our maps are snow let's use white text yes and half of the fucking uh, story mode they're speaking different languages because they're jumping all around which is cool i like hearing the different languages, but i have no fucking clue what anybody's saying because the subtitles are hidden yep in fucking snow and brightness tyskerne har information om motstandsbevegelsen på politistasjonen jeg må ødelegge det Vi laster tungt vann over i lastebilene. Jeg må sørge for at ingen lastebiler drar herfra. Det er ridiculous. Yeah. The, and, what? I, I think we talked about it. We touched on it. If it honestly feels like they're just being pushed too hard. It it's, feels yes. like DICE has this to release a game every fucking year. year now. They cannot handle it. Nope. DICE is literally being whipped to death. And they're, and they're probably shedding their best developers at this point. EA fucking destroys everything they touch eventually yep. yes they put out triple a games from time to time in new series and they have the money to do these things yep. but over time you see time and time again they ruin the studios and developers yep. they work with and that's what's happening to the battlefield franchise and it breaks my fucking yep. heart to say and i wanted battlefield 5 to be so good because i'm a fanboy but even i can tell you that battlefield 5 is a disappointment and you can lie to yourself as much as you want but this isn't even a complete game at release. It shows you how overworked DICE is and how struggling they yeah. are that half of their game, 25% of single player, 25% of multiplayer, practice range, <laughs> tank customization, yep. what? Are all not even in the game. And they, they, 
reuse World War I weapons. Yep. They're using some of the most obscure World War II weapons with a sprinkling of some ones that we do know. But you're making a World War II game. And I understand the design direction. Yep. Oh, we've done World War II a thousand times. Let's show you a different angle of World War II. That's great. But you have to put in at least a few well-known battles. You have to be. You have to give people like the big things they recognize. They need something to latch onto. They need that nostalgia. Because if you're not even appealing to our nostalgia, it's like you're just giving us a new product that's kind of not even as good as the old one. Yeah. So these are why? filler ba filler maps and filler yep. battles and struggles. And you're like, where's the big ones? Well, guess what? They have a roadmap out already, and none of those are big ones either. The, no, it's nowhere in sight. We, do you see the? Americans or Normandy or D beach D-Day landings or, or fucking, Africa or, or anything France like that. or fucking yeah. Japan. None of this shit. No midway. Nothing. I, what the fuck? I, I don't understand what, how you can make a World War II game. And I wanted, I guess, you know, you just think about, wow, you know, 1942 remastered with today's amazing tanks and fucking. I mean, like I, you remember, you remember like having three even having like five or six tanks on each side shooting over a massive thing like infantry, tons of planes coming in. I wanted like and big battles. Blips. I, the like even <laughs> Battlefield One had better in their grand operations because they had a fucking blimp, which was cool and these new. aren't the same guys. Yeah. These these guys, it feels like the, the Swedish crew is down to a skeleton crew. It really does. You want to know why? Because these videos where they're showing you off how to play the game, they're even voiced by the Swedish guys. You know, I, I can hear your accents in yep. there. Instead of choosing and hiring some, like, World War II, you know, voices where they're like, all right, soldiers, time to go to bed. You know, it's just the developers. Like domination. In domination, you must capture and hold the objectives. These are identified as flags on the map. The greater number of friendly soldiers occupying an objective, the faster the location will be secured. Full metal Full jacket metal type of thing, yeah. Yeti microphone. This is how you play the game. I don't. I can't do a Swedish. I love the Swedish. Okay, I've had several Swedish girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> but no, all right. So it's just, I, I just it feels so empty and so undercooked. And it's not necessarily DICE's fault. Like you said, if they're being forced to release a new game every fucking year, it's not cutting it. Leave them alone, EA. Stop it. Let them fucking make a game that's worth A complete playing. game. A complete <laughs> yeah. game. Please. Because this isn't the dice that, that we know and love and they're being and, and this is what's gonna happen. And you've already seen it. The drop in sales. Where's the fucking amazing guarantee? <laughs> I where's, love where's that your, sound. Where's your, it's uh, a great sound. They had a chance to do really cool stuff too. Like they could have done an air only battle where you've got like one side's like a bunch of B-52 bombers, 48 people in B-52s, and the other side is nothing but Luftwaffe. Christ's sake, they don't even have air battles. They don't have air battles. Fucking Star Wars Battlefront bothered with air yep. battles, and this game couldn't even manage to they, put they an They couldn't air even put like There's limited fights in the yeah. fucking air, but you're really just doing You circles. fly and die almost instantly. In it's Instantly. ridiculous. It's so <laughs> shitty. I, so in a certain ways, this game is as small as we thought, you know, yeah. and, and felt, except for, you know, one if or If you two fly maps. in with a bomber. Give one of those guys a raise. Twisted Steel, give them a raise, and the other one, give yeah. them a raise. But, I mean, we were talking about how, how they're just being forced to release a game. It was like... This year was Battlefield 5, last year was Battlefront 2, 2016 was Battlefield 1, 2015 was Battlefront. Like, they are being forced every year to put out a new game, and there's no way. Remember Battlefield, they said Battlefield uh, 4 took yeah. like three years, or two and a half, three years, and it's like, they're not getting that, and it's really showing now. I, I just, I don't know what's happened in my Battlefield franchise, man. I love Battlefield, and it's just so awkward that Call of Duty has surpassed them this yep. year. If Call of Duty, guys, Activision, if you're listening, if you go and you do a Battlefield the next the next year, like you put in a mode like fucking Conquest or Breakthrough, yep. it's over. It's over for your competition. You want to put that nail in the coffin on EA, your yep. competitor, do it, and it's over. Because if EA and DICE don't wake up and realize we're going down the wrong path with Battlefield, yeah. we need to go back to the drawing board. We need to look at why people like Bad Company 2 so much. Why people like Battlefield 3. 2 mm -hmm. even. All of these are better than this yeah. game. And that is a problem. 
that these games 10, 12 years ago are better Still than better, this game. better. They feel better, yeah. Okay. And this whole live service model has failed. It's failed spectacularly. It's failing. And that's not necessarily because, oh, well, you know, uh, we got rid of season passes, we got rid of this, and now we're giving it to you free. That's not why it failed. None of it is in the game at launch. You're not, you're, you're not giving people enough at launch to be like, all right, man, that's fucking, I'm going to be back. That was great. You know what I mean? And yep. then new content comes out, you're like, oh, no, you're getting, hot, and you're like, where's the, what? And then what's the content coming up? I've never heard of that. What, what, where's this and that? I'm not. I'm it not excited about I'm what's not. coming. I'm really not. There's like one, maybe one tank battle that I've heard of, maybe in Tides of War, and that was an idea I floated around. So maybe it's still stuck in my head, and there is no such thing coming. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, 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 I'm just blown away at what happened to Battlefield Five. It's worse than Battlefront One or Battlefield One. And I, I think that the general population, like all the gamers and everything, are really starting to get on board with like not yeah, caring. Yeah, look anymore. at the sales numbers. Look at look, how few people are on the servers. Let's talk about EA as a, as a whole, like their stock prices and their, the faith in the company. I mean, I didn't believe you, but their stock I, I, prices. So yeah, I, I tweeted it out. Like people aren't talking about this, but their stock price in six months has gone from one hundred and forty four dollars down to like eighty four. Yeah. They've lost forty percent of their stock value. They're six still months. feeling they, this. They are it's, it, it, bombing. It's on a trend from six yep. months, from a year, and they're still feeling the effects of what happened with their microtransaction yep. bullshit. Gamers are sick of it. I mean, it's it's crazy because even when, when, when the loot box thing happened, we were like, we'll need to wait and see how much of an impact this has. Like, is it going to actually hurt the company? And it's just straight down into yeah. the ground and i'm hoping that this wakes them the fuck up because nobody's putting up with their live service nobody's playing battlefield 5 or like really promoting it it's not helping them and it's just they keep making more and more bad decisions and they're not recovering from it and i'm hoping they wake up and realize oh shit yeah. we need to go back to the way we were yeah. people aren't buying our games anymore they're not yeah. doing what they we want them to do and battlefield 5 fanboys that are downvoting the video and you can feel what's coming in the final rating already and you're getting nervous <laughs> Nervous. I'm, 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 I understand. Go ahead, do it if you need to. But I'm telling you, man, it's it's going in the wrong direction. And while you can have fun with it, you definitely can. Yeah, it's nowhere near what it used to be, and I need it to go back to that. And we, it needs to stop copying Battlefront. Yeah. The interface, the the economy, the the progression, it, the lack of content at release. Uh, I like the idea of supporting the game for free with constant updates in the future, but. It, the, not what's up front here is not going to work that way. And I don't want EA to think, well, see, we tried it your way. Now we're going back to season passes, and now we're going back to microtransactions, this or that. No, you Fuck gave no. us the most piss-poor half effort, yep. and you almost made it fail on its own. This had some of the worst marketing I've ever seen. The marketing in this was failed. Awful. Yeah, it did. Utter failure. You had Trevor Noah... Which made no sense. It made it feel like the fucking Daily Show. It was so boring. And your behind closed doors thing was much better at presenting things. But maybe there just wasn't enough there where they were confident enough to, to present things in, in, a, in a correct way. All I know is that nothing... The worst... Nothing in the media got me excited for this game. Like, the trailers didn't. The gameplay they showed off was awful. Like you said, it looked okay but like nothing to really draw me in and they it, they seemed, stood out they, yeah. they did less effort than they did for battlefield one because in battlefield one they did like the whole cinematic with the fucking blimp coming in and like the darkness yeah. and like there's all the no explosions like nope. there's no uh even hero classes there's no big uh epic moments like the blimp and shit in, in this game and if you wanted to pull all of those out because you were through some excuse of balancing and it wasn't in world war one you could find a way to put it in there you can even create specific modes still yeah. include those types of things and and give that's us coming that later on yeah that's what they'll <laughs> coming say soon. that's what they say it's coming soon yeah. after you've already played it and put all the hours and yeah. moved on to a different game like this this what who was this game for it's not for like the world war ii fans because there's none of the nostalgic world war ii moments in here it's just all the the new untold stories and i get it and those are all yeah. right but it's not it's like you keep waiting for the the thing and there's no thing in yeah, it. we we just wanted Axis versus Allies again. I appreciate the single player. Let me let me give the game praise. At least this game has single player. I enjoyed the yeah. stories. Did you like the stories, Joe? 
I went around uh, doing it differently because it felt like it was uh, stealthy. Yeah. But I fucked everything up. Yeah. Instead, it, it, we're no good at stealth. <laughs> but hey, you know, I was like, well, mm. it, it's like battle. Yeah, it did seem like Battlefield thought it, all of a sudden it was a stealth game. It was. You constantly running around. But no, you can play it the way you want because you could go to the different areas and one area won't set off an alarm if you yeah. go crazy in one and then you can go stealthy in another one. Uh, I liked that kind of open and freeness. And some of the stories actually got some emotion. Like, the actual story with the female in it, I thought that was one of the best ones. And and, and especially uh, the little-known uh, friend unit uh, yeah. that didn't get much respect in France until just recently, like in the 2000s they were on. They were doing it. a lot of stuff. And like, they that, yeah. they, these guys deserve that recognition, and I, and I thought that was all well done, mm. and I liked it. Though I almost would have rathered them stick with one. You know, and yep. when you stick with a, the a bouncing real around, kind of disconnected it. Yeah. Bouncing yeah. around disconnected it incredibly. So, so even though you did a good job there, it also is is uh, diminished a little bit because you don't get to spend time with these people. I had no fucking clue who what the first set of people were saying. Their accents were so thick. I was like, "You're the one who's gonna go himself so full of holes and shit." Yeah, because of you, you tit. Listen, I was sitting pretty in prison, mate. I was not bothering nobody, not getting shot at you. You come along. This is your fucking fault. Listen to me. You don't understand me. I mean, like... What? Why did you... What? <laughs> we get those white uh, subtitles. You didn't see that? Yeah, no. <laughs> they needed subtitles, yeah. too, Joe, even though they're speaking English. It bothers me that they're, like, really afraid to just go back to, like, you know, creating characters, making new characters, creating new storylines. Like, I mean, they did that. Doing a twist. They did do it. No, I mean, like, brand new. Like, this didn't happen in World War II at all. But we're just gonna do like a whole new story with like different ba like different factions and stuff and I don't know I just kind of miss like the old Soldier of Fortune type of storytelling and stuff like that. I don't that. know what Soldier of Fortune storytelling is, but I wanted the soldier yeah. in. I wanted to be those stories in the massive battles that we all know and want. You know, people want a Medal of Honor, uh, Medal of Honor, Allied yeah. Assault. Like, they want to feel that Normandy beach landing with today's graphics and yep. shit. I mean, Call of Duty tried to do that in World War II, but it was a joke. It was a like joke. Like, it did not feel... Not I, I was like, how did a game, like, 10, 12, 15 years old do better than this Call I, of Duty? I have no idea. And like you said, yeah, it's just missing all the big battles, missing the things they could have done really extravagantly to make the game fantastic. And they just were like, random maps we've never heard of. Woo! Yeah. And it's just depressing. It is super depressing. So it is now time for the final verdict for Battlefield 5. Uh, let's start with Dell. I'm at a four. Ooh, below average. So I, I gave slightly below average yeah, on our scale. There's there's not enough there. None of the things that I would be familiar with from like 1942 really exist. The progression for me was below like fuck it i had no reason to keep playing like outside of oh i'm playing with friends okay yeah and honestly like it felt like it's a step down from battlefield or battlefield one and i was already like in battlefield one you remember i was like uh you're you might be going in the wrong direction you might want to like mm -hmm. add more i liked Stop. battlefield one though more lot. than this yeah and and but I, I was a little scared in the back of my mind. It's yep. like this kind of looks like it might do this, and guess what it did? It went that direction, and it, it took out what we wanted. It took out the cool things that one added, and it feels like a, if it, it feels like they're trying to meet a quota. It feels yeah. like a copy yeah. paste once a year exactly. game now. Like I the, mean, it, just look at it. It looks like it, Battlefront. It looks it looks like Battlefront. It looks like Battlefield One. It takes out all the cool, unique elements of Battlefield One, and yep. then it just gives you the bare minimum maps. Yep. It's a copy paste, and because well, of that, I'm like. Four. That that is the description of Battlefield Five. It's a World War II skin with a lot of mechanics ripped out from Battlefield One for balancing cons. I don't know why some of that is gone. No evolution, none of that, yep. and then served up on a platter. Eight maps. It's going to basically three. turn it into men like every year. There's a little changes here. Stop. Little changes. Yeah, but. and if they need to, the thing is, is like that would require them to not release a game for a year. And that's never going to happen because investors will get angry. They need to do. They need to stop. They that. need to stop doing the it needs once, to be three a year cycles on yeah. Battlefield. Joe, I'm going to give this a five. The classes felt pretty limited. The maps, uh, they're supposed to be on shuffle, but we played the same goddamn maps over and over. I got <laughs> yeah. we got tired of it. Yeah. Uh, I was being very frugal with my coins. I bought a helmet. <laughs> that's you all. I, a that's, helmet. that's all I got. <laughs> 
Did you get the I, Predator skin, though, Joe? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That, didn't you feel so good when you got the Predator skin? I was like, skin? oh, I yeah. Did. I show up, everybody's wearing a fucking Predator. I was like, <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, not much really changed. It's going backwards. Uh, this is just an average game to me. Five out of ten. Uh, four out of ten. Uh, Battlefield 1, I believe we gave like a 7 or an 8. eight. I think an 8. Yeah. Because uh, I, I just, I love that they were trying to do something different, go to World War 1. Yeah. It had life. It had excitement. It feels, and they gave us a lot. They're, they're, you know, they could have given us more, but they gave us a lot. They certainly gave us more than they gave us here. And it, it still had some charm. Like, you could ride on top of a horse with a flamethrower. <laughs> like, cool stuff like yeah. that That's just does really not sweet. exist in, in this, this game. game. Yeah. Uh, it, it Battlefield is a shadow of its former self, and and World War II was a perfect opportunity to go back to the original, to go back and show us why Battlefield is the best at what it does. And instead, it's like Battlefront. It's Star Wars over again, and it's just not good. With and, and it, it breaks my heart. Five out of ten. It is an average game. Yeah. It already loses points for not having 25% of the single player at launch. Remember, yeah. we're reviewing this at launch, and it's been two weeks. I've given it the game time, and they still don't have stuff fixed. There's fuck when you get on top of the tank, the fucking turret is fucked. Still good. Yeah, we are going to go to the front line. Oh, great. The top gun is still bugged. Have they even put out a fucking update for this game yet? No. no. What the fuck is going on over there Maybe at fucking Dice and EA? Seriously? The it's patch. how many weeks has it been? Uh, one ish. Okay, and how many months has it been no, since the been, beta? It's been out, dude. No, it's been out since the 14th. It's fucking ridiculous. The infinite There's round so bug. Infinite round bug. There's and they and the it back servers too, are right? fucked. Oh, did we? Ever, did I just join on a game that's over? Is it bugged? What? Oh yeah, this uh, game no. is bugged. They have no lives left. They have no lives left. No, the game is How bugged. Are, we are they hacking? It's zero, 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 zero. So basically, we can't win. We have to hold the line forever. And you, Holy and you shit. get And look, guys, you can tell how long it's been like this. Look at this guy. He's got 96 kills and 63 deaths. <laughs> Dice, what happened, man? Tell me. Send me a private email. Seriously. Yep. And and this, they're trying to hold together with little they have. What does Battlefield 5 do good? It looks good. But this, it's not even it that sometimes good. unless you take off HDR. HDR yeah. Yes, they, they are paying their sound guys still well. Yeah. It is one of the best sounding games ever. Yeah. When you're yep. in that house and explosions are happening and people are screaming. <laughs> I'm like, this is fucking The Frostbite war. engine yes. is still really cool. It's yeah. really cool. But that's why we're so mad. Because there's so much fucking they could do here. Yeah. If they went back to all their design documents from the original Battlefields. And say, let's do this. In 2018. Yeah. And instead what they did is they tore two pages out of there. Rewrote some of it. And gave it to them. You know, it's, it's crazy. The more I think about it is like, we keep talking about Battlefront. And... If you look at Battlefront 2, we gave that, what, a 6 or a 5? I can't remember. But you look at, like, the mode comparisons, and we're missing air battles. We're missing hero battles. We're missing the – they had, like, this tides thing that they had going on. There were less cool game modes in this game than there mm -hmm. were in Battlefront. Yeah. yeah. No, which I'm is getting insane. What yeah. I'm getting what you're saying. It, it's, it's a damn shame. So that's why. Five out of ten. It is an average game at best. It is half there. 
Then, when Tides of War comes out and, and some of these battles, unknown battles and new weapons, where are the Americans? Where are the Japanese? Where are the Russians? Where are all of this other stuff that would have made this game that must play, that must buy? Yep. So much content could have been in here and everybody would have bought this shit. Everybody. If you put a marketing Americans, Russians, Japanese, everybody been like, wow, EA. What I'm buying two. I'm buying fucking two. <laughs> but you but didn't. no, you didn't do any of that. You did British versus German, and you get, and then you put, uh, you know, screaming women on the battlefield yep. and untold tales that nobody knows what's going on, and maps that I don't really like except for maybe three of them, and that's what happens. And you're you, to get a five from all of that is a damn good thing, yep. you know, because it is fun. <laughs> It can be fun. It can give you these experiences that no Call of Duty can give you. And that's why I'm saying if Call of Duty g gets wind of this and they do what that is, yep. the battlefield's over unless they go back. So here's what you need to do. You need to give DICE time, and you need to let them develop the battlefield that they want to make. Okay? And I guess we have to go back to modern because the wa war has, World War II is, is tainted now. They got a chance. They could go 2143. But it needs like two or three years because if they take that IP and it's future and they don't do it right like they did with the first one, it's going to bomb. How, how can they save it? I think you either go yep. bad company, you go back to modern, or you do futuristic. Yeah. Those are your three options. Do not uh, – and, and unfortunately, they're just going to whittle away at content for this game for the next year, two yeah. years. And just like Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront 2, they're releasing yeah. new content there. And it's all for nothing because the most of your player base is going to whittle away by then. We're going to get another Battlefield announcement at E3 of next year, and it's going to come out in November. No, I, I, I hope not. I, I Please don't do that. All right. So uh, uh, with a heavy heart, that's the end of our Battlefield 5 review slash rant. And uh, I really hope that they turn this around for my favorite military shooter franchise. I really do, because it's going in the wrong direction. They need we to do are something. We're smack dab in the middle of a wrong direction, and we need yep. to right the ship. Okay, uh, DICE. Okay, EA. Please. Please. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, subscribe. Hit the bell. And support our show by grabbing some merch. And just keep watching. Okay? Thank you very much, and we'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. See you guys. guys.